Dr. Sharon Belmont George, Chief Medical Officer, Ministry of Health and Wellness. As of April 28, 2020, the World Health Organization reported a total of 2,954,222 confirmed cases of COVID-19 globally with 202,597 deaths. There are now 1,179,607 confirmed cases in the region of the Americas. On Tuesday, April 28, 2020, results of 44 samples for persons tested for COVID-19 were received. Of that batch, we received two positive results and 42 negative. The first of the two positive results is a 54-year-old female diabetic who is a direct contact from a previous positive case and has been in isolation from April 4, 2020. She is clinically doing well. The second case is a 20-year-old male who is the son of a previous confirmed case who has also been in isolation from April 4, 2020 and is doing well. It must be noted that both of the new cases are contacts of a confirmed case and have been monitored in quarantine and isolation at the Rodney Bay Public Health Facility from the 4th of April 2020. St. Lucia has now recorded a total of 17 confirmed cases of COVID-19, 15 of whom have recovered and been discharged from care. A total of 490 tests have been carried out to date. We are still implementing our national response to the COVID-19 epidemic and as such, we should collectively remain focused and committed to reducing the spread of this virus. Some individual measures that need to be sustained include the hygiene measures such as hand washing and respiratory etiquette, the use of homemade face masks, remaining home and away from public places when sick, and to also ensure personal hygiene and to keep homes and office spaces clean. The population most at risk would require special considerations to keep them safe and healthy. This includes ensuring control of chronic conditions, staying at home as much as possible and facilitating the services to them as needed. The Ministry of Health will continue to remain vigilant and maintain the capacity for early detection, aggressive contact tracing, quarantine and isolation, testing and treatment capacity. We will continue to keep you informed in a timely manner. We have expanded the testing protocols to cover persons with respiratory symptoms within the communities, which will continue into the weekend. The Ministry of Health, we continue active surveillance for COVID-19 but in the interim, we ask all to remain guarded. If you are experiencing flu-like symptoms, go to the nearest respiratory clinic or call one of our telemedicine physicians for guidance. If there is a need for any general information on COVID-19, you may call our 311 information hotline from 7 a.m. to 12 midnight daily. All these telephone services are free to the public. Also, Treatment, care, and testing for COVID-19 is free of charge to the public. The Department of Health and Wellness, we will continue to provide the public with regular updates on COVID-19.